well, it's early morning, cloudy morning. I'm take this load back east, finally, after a rebuild, and uh, take it on out to the Century Homestead. Two hours in, and it's 8 a.m. time for breakfast. This all started with the purchase of a sawmill, including this motor, an international UD-16 power unit. It was built in the early 50s. It is a six-cylinder diesel rated at 100 horsepower. It weighs about 3,300 pounds. This unit needs a rebuild. It isn't running at full power. It leaks, burns oil, and smokes like a forest fire. But for me, at least, it always starts. I decided I didn't want to be in the UD-16 rebuilding business. So I found this. I bought it out of the woods. It had been sitting for over 20 years. I drug it home and started in on it. It turned out the intake and exhaust were filled with nuts. Critters considered it a long-term storage unit. There was carbon buildup in an exhaust port indicating a leaking valve. Off with the head for some machine shop work. I removed the pan and some caps bearings crank and rings look good so I didn't tear down the block. Since I had to clean and fix some things, a paint job seemed in order. It had a 24 volt starter missing some important parts, so I converted it to 12 volt for both the starter and alternator. Here I've started building the skid. I had to eke the UD forward to loosen the belts. I kind of wanted to try and lift it with the T-190. Not quite, but at least it was worth a try. So we just drag it out of the way.
this was a bit of an iffy moment. Assisting as my brother, the Ozark Grass Chopper. way out here. That I just oh these we slid in. It's an inch high, so that means... Well, if the shafts are parallel, that's all you care about. If you don't like this, I don't like this. My machinist buddy didn't put the poles concentric. You may wonder what the truck rear axle is for. The 371 will run all day long at 1750 RPM. My saw turns at 500 RPM. I needed to drop RPM somehow and connect the saw mandrel shaft with the horsepower and torque of the diesel. This is a Ford 8.8 .8 rear axle. It has a 354 to 1 gear set. All the math works. The differential is welded up to make it a simple gearbox and cheap.
that one's it goes on like easy and the button works and everything clutch is disengaged this has a breaker on the bottom okay so nothing works when it's pulled out Since that time, I've added and changed some things. We ran some electric to the saw barn. We rebuilt the prop shaft with heavier components and set the unit on ties to straighten and line it better. I built a stair set over the prop shaft that also serves as a safety shield. Since good power is now in place, the sawmill is reliably ready to work. Now it's time to continue building the saw barn. As always, thanks for watching. So right now it's pretty much a turn the key and get to sawn rig.